this week's Torah portion has a place that is one of the most important places in the story of the desert that no one's ever heard of. It's called the Valley of Arnon. You ever hear of it? The Valley of Arnon? Most people have it. And it is, in many ways, as important as the splitting of the sea. The Red Sea gets a lot of press. Arnon gets nothing. What took place in the Valley of Arnon? Well, this week's Torah portion, the Jews are entering into Israel. And along the way, the nations that are around Israel start to attack them. Like, why be nice to Jews? Like, anti-Semitism isn't a new thing. There's a nation called the Emirates. Well, what they did was they went to this one valley, the Valley of Arnon. In this one valley, there were these two mountains, these large mountains. And the mountains were so close to each other that it created a very narrow valley. And it was so close that the measure says that they can speak to each other from each side of the mountain. So this nation, the Amorites, filled the mountaintop with their soldiers, with their warriors. And they waited. And they knew that the Jews had to pass through to keep on going. And as the Jews were going to come through their valley, they were going to attack them from the top, basically destroying and killing as many Jews as they can. What did God do? God made a miracle. And the mountains moved together, killing many of these warriors and stopping them all. Jews had no idea. So they get to the mountaintop and the mountain's closed. They don't, it's a mountain. They don't know anything better. So they got to climb above the mountain and come down the other side. Only when they get to the side did they realize the well that followed the Jewish people. That well went underneath the mountain and washed up much of the blood and the remnants. When they turned around and saw the blood from a mountaintop and the remnants, they started to put two and two together. This was a miracle that saved their lives. And they started to sing a song. The Valley of Arno. Now, this is such a key moment. Because I'm thinking about if it was me climbing this mountain in the desert. It was probably like 180 degrees in my sandals. And I'm thinking, I'm, I'm probably schwitzing. And as I'm climbing the mountain, I'm thinking, really, you can't find a better way. Not knowing that the only reason why I'm climbing a mountain is because God already saved my life. The only reason why it's a mountain and not a valley is because God saved us. You see, in life, there are moments that are the Red Sea moments where you walk in and it's a sea and God, poof, brings a miracle and you see it and you walk it and you can't believe it. But there are a lot more moments where you're climbing a mountain, schwitzing. You're going through a challenge. You're going through an obstacle. And what you don't realize is that the challenge itself actually saved you from something worse. It's only later do you look back and you realize, wait a second, because I climbed that mountain underneath it, it would have been a lot worse for me. God actually saved me by making me go through this challenge. But you don't see it while you're going through it. You see it on the way back. The Valley of our known. Life has more miracles of our known than miracles of the Red Sea. You dance and sing by the Red Sea, but it's these valleys of our known that make everyday life for us what we are. God is always moving mountains for us. And sometimes he's moving those mountains so that even though it's challenging, he's preventing us and protecting us from greater challenges. Greatness, faith, belief is being able to not only thank God after you realize it, but to actually be on the mountain of our known and saying to yourself, if I'm climbing this mountain, if I'm going through this obstacle, if I'm going through this challenge, maybe God's actually preventing me from something worse. 
when we live with the gratitude of the Jews in the valley of the unknown, that's when we really, really grow, are grateful, and become the people that are connected to God in the deepest way. Shabbat Shalom.